Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited for this video. Um, this is a review on the Violet Voss Flamingo Collection um, along with a makeup tutorial. I do have a tutorial for this eye look uh, at the end of this video. So before we get started, if you guys are not subscribed, don't forget to hit that big red button before you go. I would love to have you. Um, you can also follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter, and I'm gonna have those linked down below for you guys. Uh, let's just go ahead and dive right in. So Violet Voss is releasing two different palettes. They're releasing an eyeshadow palette and a face palette, which is highlight and bronzer. Um, they are both $45 a piece. You can get them on violetvoss.com, but they will not be available until mid-July. I was able to purchase these on a pre-sale um, that she did, so I was very, very excited about that. I also received, um, as part of the bundle that I bought, I also received this huge towel, but I'm, <laughs> I'm not going to hold it up because there's no way you'll be able to see it because it is so big. I will insert a picture right here of what the towel looks like. I believe you can also buy this by itself, and it is, I believe, $30. Of course, I will have all the information listed down below for you guys. Um, the prices, the release date. Um, right now, the release date, like I said, is going to say mid-July, but as soon as I get that confirmation on a date, I will have that listed down below for you guys. Um, also, I was able to receive a 10% discount. I did use Trend Mood's code, um, which is just Trend Mood in all caps, and I was able to receive $10 off my purchase, 10, or 10%. Um, so I did get the completed bundle for $80 versus $90, so that's always nice to save. Um, okay, so this is the eyeshadow palette packaging. So I would not have even needed to see the inside just to know that I needed this. Um, the packaging alone with the flamingos and the palm trees just scream my name. I mean, the packaging just sings to my heart. I love it so, so much. Now, I have never purchased from Violet Voss before. Um, this was actually my very, very first purchase. Nothing that they have ever released has caught my eye, um, but this is the very, very first thing that I was like, oh yeah, I have to have that. I have to have it. So this is the box right here. Um, it does say on their website that Violet Voss is cruelty free. Um, I did not see anything about being vegan, so I'm not really sure about that. If I find any other resources that tell me otherwise, I will definitely list that down below for you guys. All right, so go, moving on to the eyeshadow palette itself. It is just like the box, which I love. It has got a really nice weight to it. Ugh, the flamingo is just... Like I said, it sings to my heart. And of course, it's got the little flip-flops on the side. That is so cute. And then if you open this up and you keep up with the theme, let me see, I don't wanna blind you guys. It's got little flip-flops on the corner of the mirror too. So that is super, super cute. Anyways, but this is your palette right here. Sorry, trying not to blind you guys. This is your palette right here. The colors are stunning. They scream my name and scream summertime. They are, this is just a beautiful palette at first glance. I knew right away I had to have it. And this is everything that I would want in a summer palette. It's got all your bright colors and it's just, oh, it's so freaking pretty. <laughs> all right, so moving on, we have the face palette, which once again, you have the flamingos, you have the palm trees, just really, really cute packaging and keeping up with the theme, of course, is the palette itself. Now, I did not use this on my eyes, or I'm sorry, I did not use this on my face today. If you guys follow me on Instagram or Twitter, you will know that when this arrived, there was a hair, oh my God, there was a hair inside of my highlighter. It looked like it was actually pressed inside of the highlighter, so I will not be using this until they seen, send me a replacement. Um, I, I don't even know how that happened because I know they're supposed to wear like hair nets and the lab is supposed to be very, very clean. So that just, that was really, really disgusting for me. And I posted that on social media just so I can be like, hey, you know, this happened. I, 
I don't understand, especially with my my very first purchase. But we're not going to go too in, much into that. Um, I did email customer service. Customer service is open Monday through Friday. I e emailed them like late Friday evening as soon as I got my package. Um, and they are only they only reply by email, which I think that kind of sucks. I really like to be able to call and speak to somebody, but I will give them, you know, time. I will give them a couple days. Let's see if they get back to me, what their response will be. Um, and if you guys are interested, I'll leave that below about how that goes, but I will swatch it for you guys. This is what the colors look like. I think it is absolutely gorgeous palette. Um, and of course you get a big old mirror and just like the outside of the other one, this one has little ice cream uh, popsicles and then on the inside of your mirror this one has your little ice cream popsicle so cute they they nailed it with this packaging so what we're gonna do right now is I'm going to go into swatches we're going to do the eyeshadow palette first and then I will do the face palette and then I will come back and give you my thoughts Okay, so once again, here are your swatches. These are your eyeshadows. Um, these are your last row of eyeshadows. And then this is your face palette right here. Um, as you saw while I was swatching, there is um, a fallout with it. There is a major amount of fallout with some of the shadows. Not all of them, but some of them. I will insert, these are two different looks that I tried this green one right here. Um, and then this purple one right here, as you can see down below, there is a lot of fallout underneath. Um, and that was just using it with my finger. That wasn't even with a brush. So there is a, a good amount of fallout with this palette. Does that stop me from liking it? Absolutely not. That is not a deal breaker for me. Uh, it might be a deal breaker for you and that's okay. But um, I can still just wipe it away and continue about my business. I have been playing with it for the past couple days. I have a lot of thoughts for you guys. I have used every single matte in the eyeshadow palette. I have used most of the shimmers. Um, of course, I was not able to use the face palette due to the incident, um, but I do have some thoughts on those. Okay, so with the eyeshadow palette, um, now when I first looked at this flamingo shade, which is this one right here, and the one in the eyeshadow palette, I immediately thought that, oh my gosh, they gave me um, two colors the same, one for eyeshadow and one for the blush, and I thought that was kind of shady, but when I swatched them, um, they are definitely two different colors, so... They look similar, but they are definitely not. Okay, so the shimmers are very, very vibrant. They are so stunning on the eyes. Minus the fallout, that's not a big deal for me. They perform extremely well, every single last shimmer. Now, this one right here, the seashell, which is in the bottom of the palette, I would say that that is more of a topper versus a shimmer. Um, if you look right here, it is kind of hard to see um so that would be used more so as a topper but the rest of your shimmers man they are just gorgeous oh and i love this one so much this is like a duochrome it definitely has a shift to it um kind of like a gold shift in between that blue so that is really gorgeous um of course i have this one on my eyes and i have this one on my eyes as well 
So they're all stunning. Now, the mattes. The mattes do feel a little bit dry to the touch, but I really did not have that much of an issue with them. The only small things I have to say if I wanted to nitpick is this lemonade shade right here. It does come off a lot lighter than what I thought it would. I thought it was gonna be this deep, bright yellow, but it is not. However, on the plus side, it is buildable. So while it starts off light, you can build it up. So that actually, I think is better for me. Um, that way I can control the amount of yellow that I want on my eyes. So I look at it as a plus. Um, now this black shade right here has got to be one of the very best black shades I have ever worked with in any of my palettes. Not only is it extremely pigmented, okay, look at that black. Oh my God, it's so gorgeous. Um, it's easy to work with, it's easy to blend, it's just, if they had a single in this shade, I would buy it 10 times over. I, I love it so, so much. I, usually I'm really scared of black eyeshadows. Um, they're very difficult to work with, but I find this one extremely easy to work with and I love it so, so much, so much. I used it, like I said, um, I'll pop it back up here for you. I used it in the blue look I did and I just really like how it, it worked. Um, now, <laughs> these two shades right here, Sunbathe and Popsicle. I don't know if it's my eyes playing tricks, okay? You can see them as a side-by-side -side right here, but they look the same to me. They look the exact same to me. Um, like I said, it could be just me. When I use a brush and I put them in the, my crease, they look the same. When I swatch them, they look the same. So I, I, I don't know what's going on there. They look different in the pan themselves. One does look deeper, um, a deep orange, and the other one looks kind of more like a, like a brownish orange, I guess you could say. Um, so they, they do look different, but when they are swatched, they look the same. And that kind of irks me just a little bit. Um, but it is what it is. They're still very beautiful. They still... Um, blend very very well so all in all I will say if you have your eyes on this palette you need to grab it I would buy another one I seriously would buy another one if this was limited edition I don't think it is um, but I, if it was I would buy a backup because I could see myself getting a lot of use out of this this is a fun palette and it is just top-notch I love this so much and I don't know if the other Violet Voss palettes are like this one, but if they are, give me the right color scheme and I just might buy another one. So this is excellent. Now for this one, okay, the face palette. This, <laughs> these two blushes have me a little bit intimidated. Um, as you can see right here, that pink is very bright, like a bubblegum pink. Um, the red is definitely more subtle, so I definitely can see myself using this. The highlighters, though, oh my gosh, the highlighters are freaking gorgeous. My heart is just broke that I cannot use them. Um, so you got this like champagne color. This one is kind of like a duochrome highlighter. It definitely has a shift to it when you look at it. Um, it's kind of got like a... It definitely has a gold shift to it. I don't know if it's picking up on camera, but it is just so stunning I cannot wait to get that on my face um, and now the bronzer the bronzer looks warm <laughs> the bronzer looks very very warm um, but I'm willing to give it a shot and of course this deep um, highlight I will not be able to use so I will more than likely use that as an eyeshadow all right guys so all in all I am in love I am so ecstatic that I got this purchase I am even more ecstatic that everything was what I wanted it to be the eyeshadows are gorgeous the highlight and bronzer palette is gorgeous I really do hope they replace that for me so I can get some use out of it um, but I have already used this several times and this is probably going to be my go-to summer palette like for real I can't say enough good things about this palette it's just it's an excellent palette. 
So if you guys want to see how I created this eye look using the eyeshadow palette, then just keep watching. All right, so I get to bring you in nice and close. Um, the only thing I have done is I have primed my eyes with my good old trusty Urban Decay a Primer Potion. Um, this is very reliable, so I like to use this um, for all of my looks that I do on camera. Um, and this is the anti-aging one. Girl knows we can all use a little bit of help. <laughs> all right, so I'm gonna take my Luxie 249. This is actually a dual-ended brush that I had received out of um, an Ipsy bag, which I have come to really enjoy. And we are going to take the color sand. I'm gonna hold it upside down. But it is the lightest color in the palette. And I'm going to put that all over my lid. All right, so now we're gonna take this matte yellow, which is the color Lemonade, and we're gonna put that high above our crease, just using the same brush. Okay, so next I'm gonna take my Sigma E40 and we're gonna go in with the color Sunbathe, which is this color right here. And we're gonna put that pretty much in the same spot, but we do wanna bring it just a little bit below the yellow because we want that yellow to be popping out so we can see it. color back from our Luxie brush okay gonna go back in with the same brush and this time we're gonna go in with popsicle which is what right here and we are gonna do the same exact thing take my Sigma E45 uh, which looks just like that and we are going to take sandals which is the darkest orange shade okay this one right here at the bottom next to the black and we are going to put that on our outer corner and work that just a little bit into the crease I'm gonna go back in with the Sigma E40, blend that just a bit. Okay, so now we're getting into some shimmer shades. Um, I'm just gonna take my Wet n Wild flat shader brush and I am going to spray it with some MAC Fix Plus just because I need the intensity for this. Um, and we are going to coat, we're gonna go in with the color Island, which is this gorgeous shade right here, just above the uh, the last shade we used, and we're going to put that in the center of our lid. Okay. Invincible. So I am going to take a new shader brush, uh, same brand, same type, and we're going to go into the color Pineapple, which is this uh, shimmery yellow, which is right here, and we're going to put that on our inner corner. go back in with Island and kind of blend those together. All right, 
right so this is what you ha should have so far now what I'm gonna do is I want to go ahead and clean up my face do my eyebrows and my foundation and I will be right back okay so I am back now we are going to let's finish our eyes um, we're gonna go back into the flamingo palette and we are going to take a lemonade right here um, and I'm just going to take one of my wet and wild um, little liner brushes and we're gonna run that all along our lower lash line actually you know what I'm gonna go back in with my Luxie blush my Luxie brush I'm gonna go here. take the same brush and I'm gonna go back in with with the sandals which is our dark orange color and we are going to line that really tight on our uh, lash line all right so now I'm gonna go in with some blush um, this is the Too Faced Baby Love flush blush I love these so much I'm gonna use my Morphe M105 I do like to build these up just because of the fact they can be so pigmented so I literally go on with just a little bit at a time. And now I'm going to go in with one of my all time favorite highlighters now. Um, it is the Ofra and Nikki Tutorials Everglow Highlighter. Oh my god. I love this so much. Like so 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 much. Oh. So I'm going to go in with my Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara. Okay, now to tie this look in, um, I was going to do a orange lip, but because my eyes are so vibrant, I didn't want that to take away from it. So I decided to go with kind of like a peachy lip. Um, this is from the Too Faced Sweet Peach uh, Collection. This is their oil. This is their Creamy Peach Oil Lip Gloss, and this is in the color Poppin' Peach. Um, so I just think this gives it a nice little hint. Still in the, the orange category, but doesn't overpower the eyes. All right, guys, so this is it for the completed look. I really, really enjoyed how this turned out. It just feels summery, and I just, I love it so much. I hope you guys also enjoyed the review, and I hope I was able to help you make your decision whether you want this palette or not. So, if you did, <laughs> please give it a thumbs up, and I will see you guys on my next video. Bye.